Hello everyone. So I welcome you all in this orientation session of mains answer writing, uh, where we are going to discuss a little bit about answer writing and the mains test series 2023, which is going to be launched from November 20th. What will be the you know constituent of it and how it can help you in overcoming the fear of mains and how it will provide you or how it will gear you up for the May's 2023 preparation. All right. So again, I welcome you all in this orientation session. So let us begin. Uh, so most of you must be aware that the UPSC exam for which you are preparing comprises of three stages. Uh, first is obviously the prelims stage, which is a qualifying criteria, qualifying stage is there. So, you know, around 4.5 lakh students who give the exam every year or more than that a little sometimes. Around, you know, uh, over the last few years, the number of students who are giving mains have reduced and it has come down to approximately, let us say, in general, 10 to you know, 11,000 or 12,000 near about, all right. So the main stage and the interview stage are the stages for which your marks are counted for your final rank in the examination. So one of the predetermined fact or one of the very important fact which you should understand is that getting good marks in mains examination, all right getting good marks, getting a very good score in mains examination can boost your rank. All right. So all the top rankers, which you will see, you know, regularly, uh, they have got very good marks in the mains examination. So first thing is that if you are, you know, uh, want to have a good ranks in the, you know, single digit rank or double digit rank, you should have a enough practice of mains answer writing that you can write answers which UPSC wants, all right? So that you can score marks or good marks you can score when you are writing the answers. So those are the things which you will be able to understand in this, the test series, which is going to start from November 20th, all right? So let us move ahead and see. Uh, so why practice answer writing? That is one thing which you know a lot of student ask also and sometimes they don't understand also that why should we go for practice of answer writing? All right. So one thing uh, which you have to understand as an aspirants, then you know, sometimes most of you might have come from undergrads in BTEC or let us say undergrads in humanities subject. And one thing at the outset I want to tell you is that UPSC examination is very different from the university level examination. All right. Here you need to write good answers you need to write value added answers, all right, value addition. And you need to write whole answers within the time limit. And that is one thing surprisingly not many students understand once they start answer writing only. Right? They believe that they will be able to write 20 answers in the three hours, but once they start or once they start practicing, they find it very difficult to complete the papers, especially you know, if you talk about GS4 previous year paper, you know, if you don't have enough practice of the paper, the very basic of completing the paper within time is very challenging. All right. So why to practice answer writing? So first is that you, know, you need to practice so that you are very comfortable or you know the intricacies of answer writing 
so that you are getting good marks in mains which is very very important and very very significant for getting good rank in the final examination or good ranks in the final rank list so until and unless until and unless you are getting good marks in the mains examination so if you see the mains examination the overall weightage or overall marks is for gs you have four papers for which 250 marks for each paper so it comes out 1000 marks then you have optional also two papers uh, optional which have 500 marks and then you have essay all right then you have essay which is again 250 marks so a total of 1750 marks uh, of course you have english paper also and regional level uh, regional language paper also but that is only you have to qualify in that you have to get the minimum above minimum marks in that examination the marks of those papers are not included in the final rank list so 1750 is the marks for which you are fighting uh, for the mains examination and trust me you know you might think that you no know, getting 50 percent marks will be easy but that is very very difficult all right so the one thing which you should understand is you should you need to write more and more answers you need to get it evaluated you need to get your mistakes what mistakes you are doing in those answers or in those answers while writing it and then over a period of time while taking the feedbacks no you have to go for incremental changes this is how no people usually overcome the fear of mains examination it's not that the very beginning on the first day itself you are going to write the best answers that will not happen no even if you ask the toppers also they will say that you no know, the first answers they wrote would be the you know, worst answers but the one thing which you need to keep in mind is that you need to keep practicing it you need to keep improving it all right so one aspects of answer writing is that you write let us say a decent answer all right you just write a decent answer another another way of answer writing is that then one once you have learned the art of writing a decent answer then you move towards that how value addition can be there all right how incremental increase in marks can be there through use of examples through use of data through use of presentations graphs and chart all right so this from writing a basic answers to you no know, getting it value addition and ultimately getting good marks in it will require effort also will require practice also and will require regular feedbacks from the mentors so that you are able to understand that the direction in which you are moving are you are in the right direction all right so good marks in mains if you want to get a good marks in mains it it should be there in your you know exercise or it should be there in your mind that I need to practice more and more answer writing all right then <coughs> the different key aspects of answer writing which you will be seeing that all right for example not writing a monotonous answer all right not writing a monotonous answer for example you know no spacing no breaks and all so if this is a this is a piece of paper and this is a question so you are just keep on writing answers like this this is what we are calling as monotonous answers so it becomes very difficult for an evaluator to understand what you have written or no not even a break and all 
presentation wise it is not very good so you are writing a monotonous answer you are writing not according to what has been asked all right not according to what has been asked meaning that you are not meeting the demand of the question all right you are not meeting the demand of the question you are beating around the bush you are beating around the bush jo pucha gaya hai wo aap nahi likh rahe hain uske alawa sara kuch likh rahe so once you start writing an answer you will understand that to put your thoughts in you know 150 words and 250 words it's difficult it's very very difficult but you will realize it once you start practicing it all right in the beginning you might think that you might be able to do it but the reality comes out once you start writing the answer so the early you start practicing the answer writing the early you will be able to make all the mistakes you may make while writing an answer and then by getting a proper feedback from the you know, experienced mentors how what mistakes you are doing and how to overcome it both things becomes very very clear all right so good presentation that is one of the skill which you will learn once you start writing an answer how to present your answers well you no know, how to write in paragraphs how to write in point wise how to when to break it how to introduce your answers all those things you will be able to understand then use of keywords and examples to substantiate what you are writing all right so substantiate what you are writing so that is also you have to learn then time management trust me this is one thing which most of the people who have given the means will experience that it is a challenge to come to complete the paper itself all right even if you know the answers of all the question sometimes it becomes difficult for you to complete or to write within the time limit if you have not done the enough practice of answer writing so time management is very very significant because no if you are not able to write a single answer so 10 marks or 15 marks no you you may get uh, above or below expected rank or you may not get interview call also so time management is very very important and then the value addition the value addition parts the you know how to present it what value addition you can do in your answers how to present good facts when to present it how to introduce an answers all those things you learn once you start practicing the answer writing itself all right so these are major ingredients because of which you will get good marks in the mains examination that you, know, you are writing a answer which is not monotonous presentation wise it is good you are writing answers within the time you are completing the paper within the time schedule that is you are able to write 20 questions within three hours and then you are also you know, having a value addition in your answers through use of keywords, example, presentation, graphs, facts and figures and all those things. So that is what you will have to learn and that you can do only when you are practicing good number of questions in each subject. All right. And then <coughs> it's better to make mistakes before examination to make mistakes before examination to rectify it than to make all the mistakes during the examination all right so why you should practice or why you should do the answer writing so as to you are able to understand what are the mistakes you are making you need to continuously improve your answer writing overcome 
all the mistakes which you are uh, doing in the answer writing itself uh, this will be helped by our mentors who will you know whom you can reach out and whom people will help you in getting the things done whatever mistakes you are making in your answer writing itself or whatever strategy if you are not able to follow properly they will try to guide you and help you so that you are comfortable in your mains answer writing so you write answers you get it get the feedbacks you get what you are doing it wrong or what mistakes you are making and then you try to improve in your next test then in next test what are the other mistakes which you are making so what we call is over a period of time you will see that you are having a incremental change all right you are having a incremental changes you will see incremental changes jahan se shuruaat ki thi धीरे धीरे सारी चीजें सही करते हुए आई हैव रीच्ड अ पॉइंट वेयर आई कैन से दैट ओके आई एम राइटिंग अ डिसेंटली गुड आंसर्स ऑलेट बट फॉर दैट टू रीच दैट पॉइंट ऑफ राइटिंग अ डिसेंटली गुड आंसर्स यू हैव टू स्टार्ट समवेयर एंड यू हैव टू स्टार्ट मेंस आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस ऑलेट सो वाई प्रैक्टिस आंसर राइटिंग दीज आर द फ्यू पॉइंट्स विच आई वुड लाइक टू हाईलाइट next so what are the key features of this program which is going to start from uh, november 20th all right so first test will be on november 20th so if you see the schedule of this uh mains test series so a total of 24 gs test is there a sufficiently good number of test you are going to write in this test series which will help you to provide or to give you enough practice of answer writing so a total of 24 gs test would be there and in that 12 will be what we call is half length test and 12 will be what we call as full length test all right so what is half length and what is full length so in half length test a total of 10 questions will be there and in full length test it will be obviously uh, uh, no on the similar pattern of upsc like 20 questions in 3 hours so full length test would be 20 questions in 3 hours the set pattern of upsc in half length test it would be 10 questions in 1.5 hours 10 questions in 1.5 hours so the schedule has been designed so that once you start following it once you start writing the answers you will be you know going through all the points which are there in the syllabus so that if you carry on and keep on practicing answer writings so somewhere around 3 4 times of revision of syllabus you can easily do all right so 3 4 iteration of whole syllabus you can do if you are following this test series and uh, which will give you enough confidence or enough revisions so that ultimately you can write good answers during the final examination so total of 24 gs test would be there 12 half length test meaning that 10 questions in 1.25 uh, sorry 1.5 hours that is total of 90 minutes and 12 full length test meaning writing 20 questions in 3 hours again uh, another thing is that those who are opting for a, you know 
GS only or GS plus SA if somebody is opting. So there will be a total of four SA test. So <clears throat> again, I would like to highlight few things that SA can be game changer if you have uh, no done that paper good or if you have done it badly also. So one thing you should you should keep in mind that usually you no. Know, <laughs> marks can hover between let us say you no know, somewhere around 100 to let us say it may go beyond up to 150 also and essay is one paper where you can do good by doing little also all right but what you need is enough number of practice enough number of practice so that you will definitely do uh, four SA test would be there. Those who are opting for GS plus SA test series, which will help you in understanding how to write good essays. All right, give you enough number of practice how to write good essays, and also will help you once your copy is evaluated. Micro feedbacks, micro comments are provided. You will understand that okay what needs to be written to fetch or to get good marks that is also very important you understand that these are the things which if i do i will get good marks that is one thing <coughs> which a person should understand ki main aisa kya likhna chahiye मुझे ऐसा एग्जामिनेशन या इस क्वेश्चन के आंसर में ऐसा क्या लिखना चाहिए जिससे आई विल गेट गुड मार्क्स मोर द मार्क्स विच आई हैव गॉट बाय राइटिंग दिस थिंग ऑल राइट सो दिस इज द फीचर दैट नो इट विल बी 24 जीएस टेस्ट सीरीज जीएस टेस्ट सो इट इज नो डन इन सच अ मैनर दैट before prelims you will be writing somewhere around you know uh, iteration wise if you see that a total of 24 test is there so before prelims somewhere around 16 test is scheduled before prelims all right before prelims and eight full length test is scheduled after prelims. So it's a year long test series. You will be writing test uh, starting from number uh, November 20th. Every Sunday, every Sunday uh, you will be having your test and the first phase of this would be over somewhere around in I believe end of February or starting of March. All right, end of Feb or something near about March, which is a good time to move completely shift gear towards the prelims examination. And then once the prelims examination is over, you will have the remaining eight full and test after it right so this is the manner in which the test has been scheduled a total of 24 gs test 16 before the prelims and eight test after the prelims and if you opt for gs plus essay so four essay test is also included all right All right, so what are the key deliverables of this main test series 2023? Main test series 2023. So first thing would be that if you enroll in this test series, quality, what the first thing you can expect is quality question paper. Quality. All right. So the questions would be on topics which are very much relevant for the UPSC examination. 
uh, it would be prepared the question paper would be prepared keeping the previous year's question in the mind as well as the what the current happening has been there so it will have a fair mix of you know a static portion also as well as the important and relevant current of events which has occurred on it so the question paper usually uh, you know it you may find it a little difficult than what upsc ask also sometimes so <clears throat> a high quality question paper uh, a very relevant question paper that is what you can expect in the program second is the answers you will be getting the model answers you will be getting the model answers which will be highly beneficial which will add value to your answers all right so few characteristics of the model answers is that it will help you in value addition all right value addition second is it will help you it you can help you know use this for as a revision purpose also on that topic it will help you revising that topic so the answers or the model answers would be very high impact answers key features facts figures you know <coughs> would be there in the model answers and then third would be you come to write answers you get quality question papers once you have written your submitted your copies you get the model answers which are high impact model answers covering every aspects of the question and providing you the value additions once you have submitted your copy uh, so somewhere around you no know, 10 to 12 days usually you will get your copies before that but what we promise is that you will be getting your copies uh, 10 to 12 days along with evaluation the micro comments or feedbacks would be there and which would be very handy to understand that where you have made mistakes or what needs to be improved all right so timely evaluation would be there uh, you know 10 to 12 days but you will generally get your copies uh, within a reasonable period of one week you know along with the evaluators comments which you need to un understand that where you are making mistakes so proper evaluation <coughs> with micro comments would be there it will help you understand that what mistakes you are making while writing that answers what you need to improve in your answers that you will be able to understand while seeing the evaluated copy so after once the evaluation has been done so you can get your copies you see the comments you see the feedbacks and one thing more is that every test there will be a test discussion and that will be taken by either faculty or the subject matter expert of that detailed test discussion would be there all right <clears throat> so i would encourage all of you that you see the discussion videos to understand that you no know, what could be a possible introduction of your answers what could be a possible way of writing your answers what points you need to include so as to have a value addition and to get the you know good marks in that and how to write the conclusion for that answers all right so that will be there a uh, detailed test discussion would be there and after that uh, you no know, after that if you have any issues any difficulties 
the mentors will be there highly experienced mentors would be there who will be able to guide you he will be able to help you in strategizing what mistakes you are doing how to improve over it all right so one to one mentorship would be there personalized guidance is there no and it can be done both online and as well as offline both way you can do it <coughs> both way you can do it either you can do it online also or you can walk in our centers and you can get the expert advice all right so another thing which i would like to highlight is that test series is available in both online and offline scenario all right so in offline you can walk into our centers at karol bag and you can write the answers as well as you can you know access to our portal from where you can download the quiz ca question come answer booklet and you can write it and you can scan it and upload it at, to that portal once it is checked you will be able to understand you will be get a notification that your copy has been checked and you can download it from that portal <coughs> all right so it's a flexible either you can write online as well as you can access the test series in offline mode also all right so question paper good question papers quality answers evaluation in timely manner along with a micro comments micro feedbacks then you no know, personalized mentorship as well as the test discussion by the experts or faculties or subject matter experts so these are the things which are there in this test series all right moving on <coughs> so why should you join this test series or why should you join let us say in general any test series first is comprehensive covering of the syllabus so while you are writing the test you need to study also all right so uh, before writing test before writing test you need to study comprehensively cover the topics which are there for which you need to write the test all right so if you do that the you no know, as we said that you will be able to at least you know minimum of 3 4 times you will be able to revise the syllabus if you are studying before the test so one practice which you should definitely keep in mind is that you are giving adequate time to cover the syllabus before jumping to or before writing the answers it should not be there that no you are just uh, doing nothing and on the day of mock test you are simply going and writing the answer and saying that sir i am not able to write good answers so good answers will only be there once you have covered the syllabus sincerely exhaustively and comprehensively then only you will be able to write good answer so in the process of writing test you will be able to cover the mains syllabus you will be able to revise it multiple times all right so writing test will help you in covering the syllabus also writing test will help you in revising it multiple times also so that is the first another thing is if you are able to write all the 24 test you know uh, in a very disciplined and dedicated manner then definitely you will see good improvements in your answer writing all right so a discipline and dedication of writing answers completing the uh, you know test series at it is you know whatever it is the schedule is will definitely help you in <coughs> syllabus coverage on one side practicing answers on other side and then all the incremental changes which have been suggested to you through the previous test all right so that dedication determination discipline is very much required in uh, you know clearing this examination and that you should definitely show in the test series also by writing the test on time especially all right so then <coughs> 
what we talked about is once you write test on timely manner you get your copies checked you get your copies evaluated with micro comments you understand that ki kya galti main kar raha hu kya mujhe nahi karni chahiye kya cheeze mujhe apne answers mein include karni chahiye kya cheeze mujhe apne answers mein exclude karni chahiye and this if you carry on doing in each and every test so you will सी दैट कि जहां से स्टार्ट किया है और जहां थोड़े दिन बाद पहुंच गए हैं अ वास्ट डिफरेंस इज देयर नो यू हैव लर्न समथिंग यू हैव लर्न हाउ टू राइट एन आंसर एंड यू आर कीप ऑन इंप्रूविंग अपॉन इट सो अल्टीमेटली क्या होगा वंस यू स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिंग ओके दीज आर द थिंग्स विच यू नीड टू अवॉइड एंड दीज आर द थिंग्स विच यू शुड डेफिनेटली डू वाई लाइन्सर राइटिंग सो एक जनरल परस्पेक्टिव यू गेट दैट ओके this is what you need to do so once if you are able to do that thing in the mains examination also definitely you will get a good marks so evaluation feedbacks whatever mistakes you are doing do it before examination hall kitna bhi mistake karna hai don't do it during the examination hall all the mistakes which you need to do so you do mistakes and do then get that mistakes no evaluated whatever <coughs> comments are there and then you improve upon that mistakes galti karna is not a you know uh, challenge but the challenge is to improve from there not repeating the same kind of mistakes again and again all right so you write test you get your copies evaluated mentors comments will be there feedback comments will be there evaluated comments will be there you understand that okay these are the things which i need to avoid so next test may you don't do that mistakes <coughs> and in next test you another set of you know uh, comments would be there which we will able to understand okay something is there which i need not to do in the examination and something are there which we definitely do in the examination so wo sari cheeze uh, you will get and you will work on the improvement process all right another thing is if you join this test series you will get mentors personalized mentorship will be there one on one mentorship will be there through which you can you no know, discuss your plan plan your mains preparation understand ki kahan galtiyan ho rahi hain understand from the perspective of upsc that what you need to write in your answers understand that what can be a better source to cover that part of the syllabus all those things you know strategy planning where you are getting it wrong all those things you can discuss uh, with our experienced mentors and you know the mentors which we are having are very experienced at least you know they have given one or two interviews most of them so guidance proper guidance which is uh, one of the very key ingredient in getting success in this examination would be there and then learning from your mistakes and growing for incremental changes so <clears throat> you do mistakes you improve upon it again you do mistakes you improve upon it and then over a period of time you see that okay i have improved a little bit from where what we have started and that is how you know if you talk about every toppers journey so they will say that it's not that they have not done any mistakes but the main key factor which differentiate is that they have learned from their mistakes and they have you no know, keep on changing their that thing all right so they are not repeating the mistakes again and again they are making mistakes they are learning from it then they are avoiding from it and then again whatever mistakes they are making they are again learning from it all right so in this way this program is going to help you to overcome the fear of mains examination to make you or to uh, make you understand that okay these are the things which you need to do then writing test on time will help you in covering the syllabus you will be able to cover the syllabus and then <coughs> getting the proper feedbacks micro comments you will be or your mistakes will be exposed which then you can avoid in next test and all those things so this is what you are going to get in this uh, mains test series i hope uh, you got a fair bit of idea that you know mains answer writing why it is important what are the things which you are going to get in this uh, 
test series which is going to begin on November 20th. All right, so on that note, I wish each and everybody the best of luck in your UPSC journey. Keep practicing the things, keep writing the answers and you know, I wish the each and everybody the success which they get in their life. All right, on that note, thank you. Thank you all.